Okay, I know what you're thinking. Oh, Justin, didn't you just make a video about this about four months ago in October? And you're right, I did. But in that short amount of time that this vehicle has been out, it has received a pretty dramatic change. And I don't necessarily think it was for the better, but that's what we're going to go ahead and try to find out in today's video, whether or not the changes for the Weasel 1A2 were entirely justified. Also, I do deeply enjoy this vehicle, so I'm going to keep the intro kind of short and sweet today, not go too far into detail. But before I go ahead and dive into those specs, you probably guessed it by now. A quick word from today's sponsor. Let's roll that. Thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Surfshark is a virtual private network commonly known as a VPN, which allows you to stay anonymous while you browse about on the internet. It does this by encrypting your network or in easier terms, it adds a mask to your connection so that those who may have an interest in spying on you won't be able to snoop on you as you go about your daily internet browsing. This also allows you to bypass any sort of government restrictions that may be placed in your country, allowing you free and open access to the internet. Watch videos that would otherwise be blocked and even play War Thunder if it happens to be blocked in your region. So that's a pretty good win in my book. You can even use Surfshark to stay secure while you're using public Wi-Fi, which is something I even do every single time I leave the privacy of my own home. And seeing that I am a very private person, this goes a long way in ensuring that I remain that way even while doing my work outside of the comfort of my own home. And to make things even better, you get 3,200 plus servers worldwide, GPS spoofing on your Android phone. And I know I used to do this during my days of the Pokemon Go craze. Trust me, it helped me out a ton when it came to catching a lot of those Pokemon that I wouldn't otherwise be allowed to get and it's all backed by a 100 ram only server and of course there is much more to it so don't forget to use my code justinvpn when you click on my link down below in the description you do get 83 percent off and three extra months if you do so so what are you waiting for download today and stay safe and secure so the first time we took out this vehicle, we called it, creatively enough, the Zippy German Tankette because, yeah, it lives up to that name in every single regards. This is a very fast vehicle, right? 80 kmh, that, that is absolutely brilliant, faster than most MBTs, and it packs, I think, one of the biggest punches for the size of the vehicle and, again, is considered one of the smallest vehicles in the game. I think right next to the L333, I think is the, the smallest but this is very much on par with that. And it now sits at battle rating 9.7. Yeah, 9.7. When it first came in, it was at 9.0. And this was the lineup it used to sit in, right? As you can see, it's kind of bastardized now, unfortunately. Uh, the bag light went up to 8.7 and just, it, it was a mess, right? It went up to 9.3. And I thought, okay, you know what? It fits there. It's going to sit there for a while. But no, Gaijin decided that this vehicle was way too good, and now it gets to commonly fight the terms, which, granted, their ERA doesn't really stand much of a chance against this thing, but <laughs> come on, let's be honest here. You guys know exactly how Russian ERA works and how sometimes it can be a little overbearing, even in the most ridiculous of situations. I'm looking at you, terms. Yeah, I know, right? And not to dive too far off topic, some of these battle rating changes I, I don't really agree with, okay? Beglite 8.7, I get it. I love the proxy round on this thing, and oh boy, do I spank aircraft with this proxy round, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, aside from that there's a bunch of other changes i don't want to get into because oh boy you guys are just gonna kind of ream me a new one if i give you my opinion on aviation stuff as some of you have been doing lately and aside from that that's that's really all i want to go about it so with all of that part being said i want to take out this bad boy i'm not gonna camp it up normally i do put bushes all over the place but just for video's sake i'm not going to do that i'm gonna put myself at a disadvantage here but we're gonna do our best in it right because why the hell not so Let's take it out and see, is it worth its 9.7 BR increase? It probably is, but I'd, I'd rather go ahead and show you. Let's begin. Not exactly a map I want to be in, but we're sitting, I 
believe nearby our BR. I, I didn't even check the stats to be honest. I forgot to see where we're sitting in the BR. But you know what? This little thing, you'd be surprised how many people don't even see it. So I'm going to try to take my traditional route and I want to fight near the points because remember, eight missiles, it's not a lot, especially with the whole Russian bias thing going on right now. So we'll make it count, I promise. Aha, there you are. Yeah, I was listening to this guy pop up. Hit scout him. Mm, I'm pretty sure he sees me. How many of you guys understand how much trust I don't have? Oh. You know what's funny? I don't think that's the guy I was shooting at. I don't know why this guy was scouted. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Also, there's a dude right there. <laughs> okay, I'm getting up behind this guy. Does he know I'm coming? Oh my god, there's so many. He doesn't know I'm coming. Oh, you're catching a missile in the back of the turret, buddy. There you go. Ooh, that was a good hit. That was a really good hit. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> god. How did I... Is he burning? You know what? No, I'm going to do this. I don't trust that. He's got two more friends right in front of him. I want to get him, too. <laughs> I'm so glad we got behind him. Oh, yeah. They're right over here. I hear them. Oh, are they coming this way? Oh. Oh, hold up. Hold up. He doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. No, he does. Guys, I'm dead. He didn't see me! He's so blood! <laughs> Holy crap! How did you not see me? He complete he had a perfect opportunity to kill me. Hold up. Cool. Another one? Oh, I'm by myself now. This is not good. Wait, there's one. Oh, it's a BMD. Keep going that way, buddy. Gotcha. Yes. All right. Beautiful. Let's keep it going, guys. I don't know why or how this is working, but it is. Another one right side. Hmm. Not good. Not good. Not good. Yes. Gotcha. Wait, is that an SMK? Why? Oh, there's another one right there. Oh, I know that someone's going to shoot me in the ass right now. Holy crap. You're mine. Any ammo? <laughs> This is so dumb. I love it. Another one. Oh, no. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Last one. I hope that helps because I'm out of ammo. And I got someone on my ass. Multiple on my ass. Not good. Yeah, I don't think he sees me. I... I don't think he sees me. If I don't move. Okay. If I don't move, he won't see me. Look at this T-Rex brain. <laughs> oh, no. Get him. Get him. Don't lose. I have no ammo. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm going to die. I missed that scout. Can you believe that? Okay. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. Oh, my God. These guys don't see me. How do they not see me? <laughs> Look at that, he doesn't see me. Okay, I think he does now, I'm dead. Oh. <laughs> okay, now normally I would say, this is not ideal, right? We don't like night games. I Normally I would have left it in a heartbeat, but we are the uh, Weasel 1A2, our little tankette, which means stealth is a very, very good option in this thing. When you have a vehicle that's so tiny and no one ever looks at or can see, at nighttime, it just gives us that much more of an advantage. Hold up. Oh, boy. Ugh. Yeah, obstacles will stop this thing in a heartbeat, by the way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's make this interesting, much like last game. Oh, that was so much fun. We did lose, by the way. Ooh, okay, I'm in a bit of a cheeky... Okay, not so cheeky spot, but... Uh... Is he alive? He is! Okay! Oh, he's got a friend. Who's still coming? Boop. <laughs> he's got a friend. Looks to be a BMP of some sort. Oh, he's gone, though. No, we're not going to be able to get him. Maybe? No, we're not. You know what? I want to get on this building up here. But I think the walls are too tall. Maybe. Another one front, I think. 
Oh, yeah, definitely one front. Hello, little Abrams. Right in your ammo. Or crew. That works, too. <laughs> oh, I love this thing so much. Okay, let's keep it going. <clears throat> this is actually a good little crossroad for us to cover. Ah. Who's this SOB? Gotcha. Okay, track. That's it. I don't think he sees us, but I'm going to tell you right now how much trust I don't have. And let's send another one his way. Gotcha. There we go. Beautiful. Right through your front plate. ERA, nothing. But I'm almost out of ammo, so it's not good. Ah, there's another one right there. And another one. Yeah. Come on. Keep it going. There we go. Beautiful. Anyone else? Oh, you. I know you're going to be up at some point. Oh, actually, I have an idea. I might be able to overpressure him. Hold up. Let's try this. Please work. Please work. Please work. Okay. That kind of works. One more. I, oh, I know I'm wasting all my missiles. Ooh, back up. Did, did he just shoot that missile out or did it hit the building? Oh. I think that was payback. <laughs> we got a backup. We'll bring it out. And if you look over to my front, you'll see two dead weasels. And one of them happens. Ooh, that was blinding. Ugh. Guys, don't record in the middle of the night. Or actually, it's not even the night. It's dark room. <laughs> I don't trust that aircraft, by the way. And yeah, I'm being a little ballsy. I know. I shouldn't be ballsy, but I'm going to anyway. This might be a better spot for us, actually. Maybe. Look at my handiwork, ladies and gentlemen. I think most of these are mine. <laughs> yeah, by the way, there's only two dudes left. One of them is uh, is flying around. He's in a prop. I, I hear him, but there he is. Yeah, that guy right there. Can I hit him with a missile? Maybe. Let's find out. Come on, come on, come on. Nope. Ugh. Come on, let's go get him, boys. Yeah! There he goes. Oh, that would have been great if I could hit him with a missile, but <laughs> obviously that wasn't going to happen. But that's it, guys. I think uh, I think we're off to the next one because, yeah. All right, let's go. So this is my dilemma when playing this type of vehicle. Single cap points because I only have eight missiles, right? Which means I have to go on that point to rearm them. doesn't take long to rearm, but assuming we have the cap point and assuming I can get there, then I can rearm. But for right now, I have eight shots. And that's all I've got. But you know what? I'll make them count. I don't want to use them yet. I could, but I'm going to hold off until they're a little bit closer. Ah, there's one. This turret is barely showing. There you go. Right there, buddy. Oh, I hit a tree. Son of a... Okay. I am going to move forward now. <laughs> God, of course a tree's got to mess me up. It's all right, though. I've got more chances, and maybe, maybe he won't realize I'm moving. Oh, that sucks, by the way. Damn. And I could, I missed that scout? How? Nope, not risking that one. I'm risking that one, though. Come here. Here we go. And a boo, please. Gotcha. All right, cool. <laughs> that kind of made up for it. Let's get this guy next. Oh, I love the gun depression on this thing. It's nuts! And give me a boot, please. Gotcha. That's number two. I know there's an Abrams coming up. There you are. He knows we're here, too. Like this. Gotcha. Commander Gunner Engine. Beautiful. Send in one more. Nope, he got burned down. Yes! Oh, it saves me a missile. Beautiful. This is so dumb. So here's the thing about the weasel that I personally don't like. It's so small, right? We are sitting in a hull down position right now. Now, yes, you can shoot the the, uh, the gun, and it might set off the ammo, but emphasis on the might, because trust me, I've done it, and I haven't been able to kill this thing successfully in the, in a while. Probably like a 30% chance. Of setting off the ammunition on this thing but just it's it's fast and just look at this we're in a hole down it, it, and even in sim it doesn't matter because it's still the same <laughs> by the way this game is already over yeah it's look at that i mean i got three kills out of it all right let's try to get one more maybe two but promises oh one more come on. come on let me go and scout him just in case and this should do him in Give me a boot, please. No. Oh, my God. This guy's taking all the punishment. It's a 64B, I think it is. 
Oh, I can see his outline a little bit, too. Come on, keep going. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's he's dead. <laughs> Go get him, 74G. Oh, it turns. Where? How many tanks does it take to kill a 64B? There you go. It, it took a weasel, a 74G, and I don't even know what that was over there. Oh, hi. Your engine is really loud. Can I help you? <laughs> oh, why me? Why not the big guy? Why the little tankette? Ah. Something I forgot to mention at the very beginning of the video, or at, at any point in the uh, in the video, which is, how come I don't carry Toe 2Bs? Why only tandem missiles? Well, Toe 2Bs in War Thunder, they kind of suck now. Unless you have that as a secondary to your primary chain gun or something, it, it doesn't really make sense to bring them on with this when they don't work about 60-70% of the time. Whereas these ones, they're a hell of a lot better. So I'd rather stick with the tandems. And as you can obviously tell, we've been doing really good with them. But sometimes I do miss them. Also, something front. Oh, a lot of things front. Ooh, okay, hold up. I got a spot all picked out right here, actually. I'm going to go ahead and hide behind this tree a little bit. And maybe no one will notice me. Who knows? Oh, dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. He doesn't know me. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't know me. He doesn't see me here. And let's get him. Gotcha. I was afraid I was going to hit that tree, to be honest. <laughs> uh, there's the Abrams, though. I think he knows we're here. I'm pretty sure he knows we're here. Oh, hold up, hold up. I got a spot right up here for them. Maybe. Beautiful critical hits. Couldn't get his ammo, though. Ooh, nice. Got the assist another one directly in front of me Ooh, watch my right uh god this thing is so stupid i can get in such small places <laughs> please don't come this way please okay he's not coming this way i think is he i don't know guys come on gotta hit crash yeah it gives me the kill <laughs> All right, I'm going to hang out here for a good part of the game because I just, I don't trust moving out right now. Oh, there's one right there. Find the ammo. Oof. <laughs> Off with your head. Beautiful. All right, this spot's working out well for us. I might want to move, though. So I was going to move, but here comes the next one who has no idea that we're here. <laughs> Oh, this thing is amazing. Oh, boy. All right. Now... Oh, wait. There's one more dude coming down the end of the road. Damn it. Okay. I have to get him before we leave. I know. I'm sitting here for too long. I shouldn't. Oh. I was going to say, I have no idea where to go. Come on. Come on. Before he gets me. I got to move. I got to move now. Okay. If I can get into a hold down. I can do this, too. Hold up. And do this. There we go. And he decides to pop smoke, which gives me an opportunity. I see him burning, too. You see that? I think... Okay, we can't really go through his engine. Oh, wait. No, I messed up. Oops. Uh, that wasn't him burning. Never mind. I have a stupid idea. And if it costs me my life, so be it. Hey, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> the reason why I did that is because he wouldn't be able to shoot me. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm out of ammo. Um, okay, I'm going back to the point. Okay, I got all my ammunition back. Unfortunately, my team seems to be in a bit of a rough one because they have now the majority of the points and there's only two of us on the dirt. So, it's not good. I don't know. I'm going to do my best, guys. Target to our right. Oh, no. He's to our direct front instead. Oh, oh I got so lucky with that. Woo. <laughs> Fuel explosion. Holy crap. That was pure luck on my part. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, um, 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 hey, 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 whoa, 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 easy now. Ugh. You know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. Those are usually not good. Ah! <laughs> well, I was actually going to swing the missile around instead, but... I, I thought it was a 163. There is one alive right now, but... Huh. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. I want these guys. Hold up. Let's do this. Swing it. Gotcha. Oh, I hear friendlies behind me. There's one more on that point. I'm sorry. I know. This, this looks bad, but... I want those kills. Let's get them. There's a uh, helicopter right there. Ooh, can I nail them, though? That opening. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> it's so satisfying. All right, now where is that SPAA? It's probably the Frenchie, isn't it, with the AMX-30? Nope, he's dead. I think. I'm dead. Oh, shit! Yep. Oh, guys, look how close I was to a nuke. Oh, I was so close to a nuke. <laughs> you know what? This game's over. I'm not bringing a backup out, so let's get the hell out of here, and let's roll that outro, shall we? Now, that was pretty damn fun. The Weasel 1A2 never fails to impress me. It never disappoints. It's such a fun vehicle to play, and I'm really sad that Gaijin moved it up to 9.7 but let's be honest here a vehicle like this of this caliber it doesn't really matter where you put it at least not in my opinion it doesn't matter if you put this thing at 7.0 or 11.0 it's going to perform pretty much the same except that at the lower tiers you have a little bit better of a chance because most players don't have thermals they don't really expect you etc but at 9.7 i can understand why gaijin decided to put this thing at this br it, it does make sense unfortunately do i want to see it here do i like it here no, but fighting terms almost on the regular is pretty damn enjoyable. Besides, this thing sits with me at my top tier uh, games anyway. So it, it doesn't really affect me too much per se. But if you're someone who's going through the stock grind on this thing, which isn't terribly difficult, thankfully, uh, the Toe 2 does the job. Not as well. And the Toe 2A just does it wonderfully. The Toe 2B, as I already said earlier, doesn't really handle itself as well anymore, which is highly unfortunate as I've seen what Toe 2Bs actually do and how the, well they work against T-72s, even with uh, ERA, not Relic per se, but with ERA. And it's kind of a shame. It doesn't really work out too well in War Thunder. But for the most part, this is, as per usual, a fantastic vehicle, one of which that I say, yes, go for it. It does make for a good lineup, you know, Leopard 2K, if you have a PT-16, Rodkampfwagen, now the Vegalite, Tam 2C, which is a fantastic vehicle. Yeah, it, it fits. It really does. But I'm very disappointed by Gaijin's idea of moving this up because... It was a lot of fun at 9.0, but as per usual, especially in the eyes of Gaijin, all good things must come to an end for proper balancing. So I accept that. And so that's really all I got for you guys. Uh, let me know exactly what you think. How do you feel about the weasel being moved up to 9.7? Do you believe it really belongs here? Maybe you just unlocked it. Who knows? Maybe you didn't. I don't know. Feel free to let me know exactly what you guys think down in the comment section. As per usual, I will throw in my two cents uh, and my own opinions, etc. Try to keep things civil. You guys have been super awesome about it, so thank you so much for it. But there has been some bad eggs on occasion, and those usually get the shadow ban. So <laughs> there's that. Anyways... Uh, yeah, that's really it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys did enjoy everything. If you want to support the channel uh, or maybe even see me live, you can come over to my Twitch streams. If you guys want my in-game decal, which I totally forgot to put on here, 3% uh, off, you get my in-game decal. Link down below uh, under the affiliate link in the description if you guys want to go ahead and do that. It supports me. 3% off, you get my decal. You know the whole spiel. And thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. You guys are super awesome, and I did need a new VPN, so I'm going to be using my own code for that. So there's that for sure. Guys, as per usual, thank you so much. I'll see you not only in the next video or even the streams, but in War Thunder itself, and maybe you might even see me in the VFM, which is coming up next. Until next time.